welcome to your virtual art room. Today we're going to continue our studies with perspective. We'll make this really neat building drawing that looks like you're standing on the street and looking up at the sky. Do you remember the main idea of perspective? It's that an object gets smaller the farther it is away from you. And we can calculate how small it is using mathematical principles. The system of perspective became widely used during the Renaissance. Artists like Michelangelo, Leonardo, and Raphael created masterpieces of illusion, transforming a flat wall, like this one in the Vatican, into a seemingly vast space. While the idea had been around for a long time, an artist named Brunelleschi is credited with being the first person to describe the system of perspective. Before Brunelleschi, medieval artists didn't use perspective. This painting does look somewhat realistic, but there just seems to be something off. If we observe the painting more closely, the men in the back appear to be standing, but the men in the front appear to be sitting, so that table looks like it's being tipped over towards the men on the floor. In this painting, notice the size of the workers in relation to the size of the rich people on the right. And here you can see that the artist tried to make the church and the walls and the city houses look 3D, but look at how large the people are in comparison to the city walls and houses. Contrast all this with the painting The Delivery of the Keys by Pietro Perugino, which was painted during the Renaissance using the system of perspective. It almost looks like you could step into this painting. The system of perspective relies on the artist's ability to create precise lines. And so the activity that we're going to do today is going to exercise our ability to use a ruler accurately to make the lines go exactly where we intend them to go. For this project, you're gonna need the following supplies. A couple pieces of white paper, a pencil, an eraser, and a ruler. You'll also need something to color with. I'm going to use watercolor paint, but you can choose crayons, colored pencils, markers, oil pastels, whatever you have in your house. If you are painting, make sure that you have a paintbrush and a rag or paper towel and a cup of water. We are going to begin with the vanishing point in the center of the paper. Now along each edge, make two marks close to the corners. This is going to help you draw your buildings. Now connect your ruler from the vanishing point to one of the marks and draw a line. Find the other mark that's on that same edge of the paper and do the same thing. Connect your vanishing point to your mark. Hold down firmly so your ruler doesn't move and draw a line. Right now you should have a triangle on your paper. If this is a building, it's going to have a flat roof. So we'll make a horizontal line somewhat close to the vanishing point to cut it off. I can erase these parts of the diagonal lines that are going towards the vanishing point. Now I'm going to add some windows and decorations to this building. I'll start by making the top edge of the windows. I'm going to decide how many windows I want, maybe four. So I'll make a dashed line with four dashes. There we go. That one's a little small, but that's okay. And I'll connect each edge of the line with the vanishing point using my ruler and then draw a line away towards the edge of my paper from that point. There we go. One. Vanishing point to the other edge of the line. Two. 
vanishing point to the new edge of a line vanishing point to another edge of the line. This is getting awkward to hold my ruler like this. I'm having to bend my hand a little weirdly. So I'm going to switch to use the other side of my ruler. As long as the vanishing point and the edge of the line are touching the same side of the ruler, I'm okay. and I could leave it like this, or I could divide these into windows. The closer an object is to you, the larger it seems. The farther away an object is, the smaller it seems. So if we want to create the idea of space with this particular drawing, we're going to need the windows to appear taller and bigger as they get closer to the edge of the page, and narrower and shorter the closer they get to the vanishing point, the farther away they are. So I'll start with the ones by the vanishing point and end them with a horizontal line and I'll make a gap in between those windows and the next set. Now the next set needs to be taller to create the illusion that I'm looking up at this building. And this gap also needs to be bigger than it was here, again, creating that illusion. Now I'll erase these lines coming away from the vanishing point so that my windows look separate. If I want to get fancier, I could add more decorations. But for now, I'm going to move on to my next building. To keep it simple, I'll rotate my paper. So now I can follow the same process for this next building. Connect the vanishing point to the line at the edge of the paper and draw a line. This one I'm going to make taller than the other one so it's going to come up closer to the vanishing point. Same one here. And, oops, I didn't go all the way to the vanishing point there. there go. And I'll cut it off with a horizontal line. So I don't get confused, I'll erase that extra bit. And now I'm going to decide how I want to decorate this building. Maybe this time I'll have some rows. And again, I'm going to create the illusion that it's farther away here by increasing the distance between the rows and increasing the height of each row. And maybe some lines for decoration. some windows into these spaces. Maybe just two. Connect the edge of my dashed line to the vanishing point and draw. Connect the end of my line with the vanishing point and draw. 
I'll make horizontal lines on these windows in a little bit. Now I can continue making a building on this side and begin the same way. Connect that dot at the edge to my vanishing point and draw a line. Dot at the edge to the vanishing point and draw a line. How do I want to decorate this building? I'm going to make it shorter than that one again. Maybe if I added another section in the middle, it could go up a little bit higher, sort of like the Willis Tower. That's cool. Now I'll erase those extra lines going to the vanishing point that I no longer need, and I'll start decorating. to add some windows to this side. Maybe two on each side. The same process applies. looks. Maybe instead of making these into windows, I'll make them into some sort of sculptural decoration with another rectangle inside. to make shorter than all the other ones. Feel a little bit of pressure to make it look really cool because the other ones look so neat. I'm going to start drawing some angled lines here at the edge. a bunch of them to make a little pattern. You could look at the buildings on your block for inspiration. bits in the middle. And 
and let's add some windows. And just one big window on either side there. horizontal lines to cut off my windows. Maybe I'll make these short long windows to make them look different than these. finished drawing. You can see that I have four very different buildings with a lot of different designs using lines that go towards and away from the vanishing point and horizontal and vertical lines. When you're done drawing, color it in. I kept mine very simple, but if you wanted, you could add special details in the windows. Signs, faces, special secret messages, you get the idea. Thanks for stretching and exploring your art skills today with me, friends. I hope your drawings turned out awesome. I can't wait to see them. I'll see you next week for more art making fun.